Yes, and welcome to our class. Our lesson for this video is all about the beginner's guide to swimming equipment or gear. And to begin with, uh, let me ask you this question. What do I need to prepare or what do you need to prepare? So when you start swimming, the question of what swimming equipment you need also usually arises. So therefore, in this lesson, we will look at the essential gear you need for a successful start. So the first one we have here, your swimwear. So to get started, you will obviously need a good swimsuit. For men, these are usually swim briefs, swim trunks, or jammers. So, look closely at the picture here. These are the example swimwear that you can choose from. And take note, board shorts aren't recommended for swimming as they create too much drag. Furthermore, they are forbidden in certain pools for sanitary reasons. And to add to that, uh, this Board shorts also give you a hard time to perform the right stroke because of the additional weight of the water that it might absorb, right? So it's not really recommended. Okay, so now let's continue with the second one here. We have swim cap. So a swim cap is often mandatory when swimming in a public pool unless you are about meaning to say wala kang buho. okay so a swim cap also comes in handy if you have long hair and want to avoid that it gets into your face while swimming so basically when you are a beginner you have a lot in mind uh, to focus on so of course as your instructor i don't want you to be disrupted especially for the ladies who have uh, long hair so that's also going to protect you from the chemicals um, in, from the pool right so it's very very important to have swim cap as part of your gear okay and the third one we have nose clip so a nose clip is nice to have as it keeps water out of your nose so it's one thing less to worry about during the initial learning phase especially that you are a beginner. So you are still practicing proper breathing. So this will definitely help you. A nose clip helps, especially while learning front roll, as it takes quite a bit of technique and coordination to be able to breathe on the side and keep your arms and legs moving. So it's uh, usually um, used in the freestyle stroke where you have to breathe on the side. So very, very important that you wear nose clip. All right. Okay. Now let's have the third one here. We have swim fins. Swim fins dramatically improve the efficiency of your flutter kick in front crawl and backstroke and the efficiency of your dolphin kick in the butterfly stroke. The legs are much better supported in the water, and hence, you can focus on learning the arm stroke movement. So basically, there's the word there, efficiency, meaning to say it will now leverage your speed in swimming, most particularly your kicking. And since you have the fence in your feet, then you can also focus on your arm stroke movement. So this will absolutely help you improve your swimming speed. Okay. And the next one here, we have pool boy. So the pool boy is a figure eight shaped flotation device made of solid foam and which you squeeze in between your ties. That's what you can see in the picture here. So that's in between her ties. A pool boy also supports your legs so you can focus on the arm stroke movements. It makes the most sense to use them when swimming front rolls. So basically, it will give you now the power of your upper limbs so more on the scales on your upper limb because you are focusing more now on your arm stroke so that is pool boy and next here we have 
kickboard. So kickboards allow you to target your legs, isolating them so you can practice your kicking stroke, improve your balance, or work on your leg strength. Kickboards isolate the legs for specific conditioning exercises and can be used to help improve leg strength while performing all swimming styles. So this is very pretty basic and this is how it looks like the kickboard. And this is very important, especially for the beginners. So that's it. And what's the difference between the kickboard and the, uh, the fence? Well, the kickboard um, is designed for you to train the proper kicking exercise, especially the way you move your feet. While the fence uh, focuses more or targets more on the speed, okay, of your swimming, of, of your kicking as well. Okay, so that's it. And swimming goggles. Swimming goggles is a good pair of swimming. Um, it's also a must if you are serious about learning to swim as this protects your eyes uh, from having a sort of allergy, especially if you are not really uh, fond of swimming and the chlorine will might actually get in your eyes and you might be irritated so very very important that you wear your goggles and also when you are swimming in a swimming competition uh, swimmers used to do a tumble turn um, it's a tumble turn where you they, they they tumbling in the water so that's what you call tumble turn and it's pretty hard to do without a goggles um, because you cannot see uh, the edges of the pool so very important that you are wearing goggles for you to see clearly the things under the water so very very important so let's do a recap of the things that you need to prepare so first we have swimwear we have swim cap nose clip swim fence pool boy kickboard and swimming goggles so these are just basic guys and uh, uh, this will definitely help you as a beginner swimmer to be efficient in your areas of improvements most specifically in your swimming strokes so i hope you learned um, a lot today with our basic um, lesson and uh, thank you so much for watching this is your instructor in swimming miss 